This video will show you how to mount a Q6 in 59 into a T93C10 outer housing. In this example I will use a 10 to 22 mm lens but should work similar with other lenses as well. As you can see if you open the box there are two smaller boxes inside, one with the actual housing and one with a more wall mount. Please note that there is no power supply included with the housing. As a first step, I would recommend you mount the wall bracket to the wall. There is no screw supplied, so you will need something. As a second step, um, open the housing, there are six screws. Open them all the way. And inside you will see that there is a plastic bag containing some items, you can see here. Next step is to remove the camera sled from the housing. I would recommend to remove all four screws and take the black sled out completely. Next step is to mount this sled to the camera and before you do that, if you have a very focal lens, put on the rubber band which is actually supplied with the camera. After you've done that, use a spacer. I would recommend to use one spacer that should work for all lenses and use the screw and the supplied washers to mount on the camera sled, the black plate. Make sure you move it almost all the way up to the front part of the lens and tighten it. Now the next step is to connect the power connector. This is actually included with the camera body as well. Little black connector. Um, take away the plastic things here. And connect it. Make sure polarity is right. Red is plus and black is minus. Right. Next step, um, connect this pan tilt knuckle to the housing and I would recommend you um, insert the screws first. They are anti-loss screws, they are, so they are a bit, too hard, bit hard to get in. So connect them first to this part and then you can connect this part to the housing itself. Then you can actually connect the entire housing to the wall arm. Make sure that you tighten those two screws here um, pretty well, otherwise the whole housing might fall off and there is no safety wire. So make sure this is screwed in hard enough. Next step is to remove the gaskets, the two cable glands. And we take the one for network first. If you want to get the RG45 connector through without cutting it off, um, you'll have to push a little rubber seal out first. I use the back side of a pencil, which works pretty okay. It's quite hard and you always have to get it out in this direction. And now it has a slit so you can put it over the cable. And then you can push it in again. Note that this only works with cables which are not too thick. So a standard network cable even a shielded one should work fine, but nothing th thicker. And it's a bit hard to get it in again. Now tighten the seal again. I would leave about 10-12 centimeters of cable, that should be fine. Here's the power supply, it's not included. Um, you can use another one as well. And here on this side you will need to connect the 24 volt DC connection from the power supply. In this case, you don't have to remove the rubber seal part. You can, you can just push the cable through as it is. It's much easier. Also like 10, 12 centimeters should be fine. And tighten. Next step, quite obviously, is to reattach the cable glands to the housing. Make sure they sit tight. 
All right, then you can connect main power into the housing. Pretty straightforward, you just connect red to red and black to black. Now you can insert the dehumidifier, it's a desiccant bag with salt inside. I would put it there, you can in theory put it wherever you like, but I think this is the best spot so it doesn't fall around in the housing. Now you remove the lens cover if you still have it on um, and you insert the camera. Before you actually put it in I would actually recommend to connect power and network first because especially with the long lenses it will be very hard to get it in otherwise. Yeah, you have it inside now. Um, make sure that you have enough space to the front glass. It should be pretty close, not touching. Um, but note that some lenses actually, they get longer when you focus. So try to change fo focus level just to see if you have enough space. Then attach all the four screws again. So the camera is tightly inserted into the housing. Next step is to access the video stream from the camera. So set an IP, access the video, um, because now you want to adjust the pan tilt angle. So do that while looking at your um, iPad, computer, whatever, just to see where the camera is pointing. If you have found the right pan tilt angle, tighten those screws and tighten them very good so the housing doesn't move afterwards. So the two on the side and this one in the front needs to be tightened. Now you can lock the zoom level with a rubber band included with the camera. Note that you only need to do that for zoom lenses, not for fixed lenses. The idea is that um, the zoom needs to be locked in case of vibrations. After you've done that you can close the housing, close all the screws, and as a last thing make sure you have something called a drip loop so that water doesn't actually go into uh, the hole in the wall or the housing. Thank you very much, you're done.